Okay, guys. So we're here for episode two. And when we left off, we left off with um, need to get to level five. And I actually got a little carried away. I actually got to level eight. Now you see Mana, she's got some new gear on. That's actually from quest. I've already gone through and did the quest line or door line quest for the gladiator guild. So I did level five quest for that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and finish our story quest line. I have to talk to Momo Dai for this. She's got for us. Well, youngin, how are you finding our fine Udal? Got your barons yet? If so, maybe it's time for you to venture outside the city walls. The bustling streets of Udal are one thing, the wilds of Thanalan is another, all together. I know a bloke you might want to fancy to speak to. He and you, named Papashan. You'll find him over Udal's dispatch yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The dispatch yard is in central Thanalan. Just head out the door across the hall. You'll see the gate of Nal staring right back at you. Pass through it and head east and you'll come to the f come upon it for long. There's dangers beyond the wall though. More than I care to count. Nothing too terrible mind you, but feisty enough to attack if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. <laughs> we got to go to the yard. That yard. Changes. Got a dust storm right now. That's a pretty good job. You can't hardly see anything for a little while. Yeah. There's Papa Sean. No, I wonder if he knows Papa Smurf. Well, you certainly look the part of an adventure, my friend. Might you be the good soul that Momo dies advised to expect? I'm Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I'm truly no more than a tired old Lalafell passing his final years quiet and in solitude. Well, no, I have been plenty of those both these last five years since the calamity struck. Devastation was vast. Yet now all true Udalans worked together, did all in their power to rebuild what laid ruined. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Udal grander and majesty that you see today. The railroad which runs through the dispatch yard too were born of the noble efforts of great many souls. There's still much work to be done Wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond the lines of our supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Udal needs the aid of you and your brethren friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe you may have some work suited for you, your ability. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area. Dispatch the dispatch yard has been as it were. They have been away long from the shade and feathering of the city. Hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out here. It isn't much to but I'll go and give these twilight presents 
Give them these twilight presents. Pretzels. Would you? Find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. I know. Cheeseburger. Talk about a comfort. Nobody looks unhappy when they're eating a cheeseburger. That's right. Fluffy had it right. Oh, madam. I'm going to have to ask you to put the pretzels on the ground. Place your hands above your head. State your name and business. Twilight pretzel. From Papa Shop? Why oh, the gods, forgive me. You could have said this new post was my nerd in a twist. I'm I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, yes. You may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe as long as I stand one. Please give Papa Sean my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Save me. Scorching days, freezing nights, this post would be the end of me. Twilight pretzel. Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's refreshing. God damn pretzels. I feel reborn. Western front, clear. Eastern front, clear. For me, from Papershawn? Twilight pretzel, my favorite. How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach? No, can I? Actually, I can't fight on any stomach. Suppose you say I have no such stomach for fighting. Returned and with a deal fewer pretzels. See? Tell me how to fare our Alton sworn sentries. Did they have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing. Are you sure? Oh, dear. Take this for your troubles and then stay a moment. There's one thing, one more thing I would ask of you. Man, I have just this moment. No, no. It's time for concealment has passed. The truth is, even before I had delivered those pretzels, I privy to some most unsettling news, which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Alton Sworn. A young noblewoman of a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have been ordered to see her safely returned. The salt and sworn you met earlier are assessing, uh, are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you. Start. We must proceed with caution. The word of her disappearance spread. I fear the others, less honorable motives, may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, 
Not even a hundred beheadings would punishment enough. That can happen, Mana. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Praise the twelve. I knew you. I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but Thanlin is vast, and there are only so many of us. Young number one is named Lady La Laria, and I'd want to go. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Salton Tree. Good luck. As you command, O oh Lily Rung. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's a... And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way.
Whew. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. By thy deeds, Shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee? Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream?
No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. Gods, you've returned. You all had you had us all worried. You do realize what would have happened if a person of noble stature, of your noble stature, were injured or worse. By her grace, the Sultan would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say, they'd be weeping in the streets. But I had already. Given you cause to weep, Papa Shah. You and the other people are in God. Please, you're, you're not saying such things. Go find it, I swear to you. It's not my place to make demands, my lady. But I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for calling causing you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. Cannot thank you enough, Mena. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilara from the void sent fiends. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm, a, a sarcastic man with a contraption strapped to his shoulder. I see you met Thancrad. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Rather too fond of the sound of his voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Mana, you're just the sort of adventure we need around here. I pray you show some kindness to the people of Thanalan as you did us today. That's the good thing about these uh, storyline quests. They give you a lot of XP. 
I think I did two of them and I managed to get almost a full level out of them. And they're designed to, to kind of push the character as far as it, or well, they're designed to push the character, keep him or her at the right level for the, the, the quest. So by the time you finish all the level five quests, you should be level six and then all the six, level six quests, I believe you know, level seven. I actually should be a little bit ahead. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved to repay the debt of gratitude which I owe the owner of the coffer and co coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I've purchased from the royal plantations prestigious pumpkin pump plump pumpkin a particular popular piece of produce alas I cannot pay cannot part this place to procure the proffer of the pumpkin to see the scheduled shipment of 901 mines for which I await is late I would Prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead, to see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present the receipt of purchase to Gallagher at the Royal Plantation, and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Wow, that was almost like a tongue twister there. Got your red. Got your got got red. Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to get these Alala film names. If CC Doe doesn't come, call in soon. The specter, specula, spectacular specimen shall sadly be past his prime. Oh, you're here to deliver the declent delight. I can say with confidence that any gourmet would be grateful for such a grand gift. Here's the pumpkin. I hope it meets with the Rogers approval. Fresh produce are somewhat scarce in these parts, such as we are always indulged with demands. You know the way to the coffer and coffin, correct? It's beyond the bridge, northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lounge. A little side quest here. Thanaland has ever been a barren region, but believe me when I say it takes a small amount of effort to grow crops here. We've even produced earthworms the soil in order to enrich it are introduced at last they have been nigh eradicated by the snapping shrews burying critters native to these parts unless we save the earthworms the entire plot will not yield as much as a single pumpkin the next harvest won't you help us by thinning out the shrew population the shrew hills would be the best place to start. Now we get to play whack a mole. This is uh, the combat you see in the game. You start off with one skill, but then you usually get one combo. And you usually get either one or two different rotation of combos and then you get your your obviously you get your um your type of buffs like um fight or flight will give you a fight or flight gives you a physical damage dealt is increased so it's an actual buff to attack and your rampart gives you Damage taken reduced, so it's a the, um, buff for defense.
So I'm not going to do any more side quests. I'm going to just continue on. I'm going to do uh, one or two more of the main story quests because it's just a side quest for these main stories. Probably make it to like level 10 and then I'm going to end the, the video here. So let's go ahead and turn this. Plague of the main story. Form. Another video is probably getting pretty long. I don't want to make them too long. Try to keep them right about an hour. Probably sitting 35. And if you see these see these um mobs here with the got almost like a squiggle line above their name. That little icon you see right here lets you know that these monsters are part of your hunt log. So you kill three of those and will finish a page in your hunt log. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and try and turn in a few of these quests and then I'm going to end the video here. I'll come back and hunt the guys. Hunt those monsters for the XP. Alright, this is the Coffer and Coffer. Let me speak to Roger. Drink for you, lassie. You won't be getting a better ale or spirit for the coin than from me. Place. Wow. Hell of a dialogue you got there, Roger. What's that? We Chococo asked you to bring this here to me. <laughs> Even in that foul mouth, drunk knows what it means to be remorse. I reckon this is for the time he, I carried his drunken, sodden ass home. But hell's an honest God's pumpkin from the royal plantations. Can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. The lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat and it is starting to tell on their health. It would be good to get some vegetables in their bellies. Assuming and I get the stubborn best to try something new. Thanks for the help, Lassie. You know, Lassie, if you're just going to stand around here with your thumb up your ass, I can give you something to do. Thanks to me, unbelievable low prices, I have no shortage of customers here at the Coffin and Coffin. But the same token, I can't afford to hire much help. We chronically understaff. What's more is there's no lazy ass types around what refuse to come in order at the counter. And I'd be a great help if you could attend these customers for me. Mark the orders on the here slip. Bring them here. Oh, and don't forget about Atlas on outside and up on top. Wow, dude, you got customers that won't even come and order at Wow. Isles balls. I've spent grilled dolo and a tankard of ale to wash it down. I'm here again spending what meager corn I got at the coffin and it ain't me fault. I tell ya, you do the same thing for your wife serves up shit like bleeding day. Wow. Man, the dialogue here is unbelievable. I think I'm going down three I, uh, IQ levels just from reading this crap. Strongest brandy wine you got? I need the help to forget. Gods, I'm starving. Bring me a bring me an L grilled dodo and smoked shrew loaf. Make it quick. Business is good. Too good. 
even there he got the time to take a piss, let alone eat. The mere thought of coughing and cooking makes my mouth water. Wow, okay. New Aaron girl, are you? Well, then let's keep it simple for your sake. A tankard of your finest ale, chilled with ice shark. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a tall drink to help one forget about frightening things in life, like work. Well, these guys are drinking on the job. And he's supposed to be a guard. the orders then let's see here ale brandy wine grill dodo uh, let me guess one tank or ale right right blade mister that or one I ought to put me boot up <laughs> any road you dig the good work lass by the way thanks I'm gonna tell you something I ought to prove with your own profit now we get to either choose mustard eggs or 10 feet. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. I am going to stop the video here and pick up later. I might try and go ahead and get a couple of quests that I passed up out of the way and it will pick up at level 10. I'll go ahead and probably end up recording a Uh, level 10 gladiators quest but we'll see by the time we're finished here we should be able to get to 40 or uh, 20 pretty quick all right and i'll see you guys later thanks